Well, it's right there in the name, the public library. But what if libraries were turned over to private companies to run? It's an idea that officials in St. Johns County are considering seriously. On your side, Jessica Clark joins us with how this idea bubbled up without a lot of people knowing about it. They go right by we use it many times a week. Kate Gardner and her family rely on St. John's County's main library in St. Augustine. And especially during the last year of the pandemic. In early was... April, she heard a St. John's County commissioner suggest county staff explore turning the county library system over to a private company to manage. What is the cost savings potential? What are the efficiencies and service enhancements, enhancements they could provide? It was at the tail end of the county commission meeting and little has been reported or said about it since. And that's kind of huge. Privatization of a public entity is like a huge topic, so we need to be talking about that. The company the commission agreed to consider is Library Systems and Services out of California and Maryland. It currently operates libraries in Sumter and Osceola counties in Florida and in other states. Some reports have been positive. Other media reports are slamming. Nothing good that I could see that was coming out of it. Right now we have more planned libraries and available funding. Over the years, the St. John's County Library System has seen a very gradual increase in the amount of funding. For 2021, it's $6.8 million, and according to the county's library director, that's about 2% of the county's overall budget. The Florida Library Association sent a statement which reads, publicly run services require accountability to the public. Their budgets are available for public scrutiny, and this lets the public know how their tax dollars are spent. A for-profit company is accountable to investors and by definition, would prioritize profit over the needs of St. John's County residents. Gardner believes if more people knew about the possibility of privatizing St. John's County libraries, more people would get involved. And find the funding in which they are looking for to begin with. In St. John's County, Jessica Clark, First Coast News, on your side.